Hello, my fellow citizens of the Seventh Universe. My name is Pat Player Two. If you wish me a civic, and welcome back to the DBC Test Server, which you know what that means. That means there is a new Dragon Block C update for you guys today, and um, it's actually a pretty beefy one, to be quite honest. Um, this one took a little bit of uh, trickery to get uh, working. I had to do a couple things um, to get the mod actually working because it conflicts with a couple mods. And I will tell you exactly what those things are. But first, we are going to be... Oh my god, why the heck did I do that? I, I clicked over to a different screen. We will be looking at some new things in the mod. Um, right now... As you can see, I I don't know if this is part of the mod, but I have no hands right now, so I'm just gonna hold this sword. I'm gonna hold the Z sword out right now, because um, it feels weird not having a hand. I don't know why it's like that. Uh, I'm just gonna hold the Z sword so you know what my hand is. But uh, we got some oars. We got some freaking oars. This stuff appears in um, other world, um, from what I'm getting at. That these guys are gonna be spawning in other world. Um, some of these do give off, uh, different armors that you can, um, actually you can't really make them right now. There isn't any crafting recipes for this, guys. So, if you want crafting recipes for these, you're gonna have to work custom NPCs into that. But, custom NPCs might not be your friendliest mod with, with the newest update of Dragon Block C. And I'll get to that, um, in a moment. But I'll let you guys know what exactly the, what these are called. This one's are called a JJ Orr. Interesting, this is the block form, so you can make a block which makes it look like lava-ish, so that's kind of cool. Um, this one is d or this one is uh, Denomator, and this one is Lenori or I don't understand any of that, but whatever. Um, but um, in the back here, there is, isn't any um, items for this, for this ore right now, just kind of the block right now. This one... We've got complete uh, armor, which, uh, by the way, this armor is not strong in the slightest. This is probably one of the weaker ends, as you could probably see. If I go one, two, three, four, and I game mode, and if I uh, game mode S it, as you can see, I'm going to put bam, 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 bam. It only gives you, like, half armor. Also, you look kind of weird looking. I mean, it looks kind of cool. Like, it's kind of like a, like camouflage type armor and you're just like ooh, I'm camouflage except while I'm shifting uh, I kind of breaks the armor right now but you don't see that um, there's that armor which is not really that strong and the swords are not really that good and um, for what I tell you um, I'm even gonna spawn it I'm gonna put down this crafting recipe for you guys uh, I'm gonna show you see there's no crafting recipe that would be a chess piece uh, there isn't a crafting recipe right now so I think Jin is getting that uh, in due time Next one is got uh, the de uh, Denomade um, helmets and stuff, which has a sword, which is seven. These are kind of, I mean, I'm assuming these are kind of like your diamonds. Uh, let me take this stuff off and put this armor on. There we go. Just as strong. Yep, just as strong as diamond. And you kind of look like a boss. Um, you thought that gold, you like the yellow color of gold, but you never liked uh, the fact that gold is absolutely weak. This is the armor for you. Also, I break the armor when I shift block. Also, this is the sword. Um, it's kind of cool. I think it would be really cool if Jin textured the sword. Because it's got kind of like wing things on it. And it looks really cool. Uh, and I'm going to put that put that back. Next, we've got uh, these um, these armors and helmets. Which I believe as well does come with the... Does come with... Don't, they ha don't these come with the freaking... Don't this come with stuff? Yeah, this stuff does come with it. I'm just not too stupid to put it in the box. But yeah, this is just a tiny bit weaker than diamond. So it's kind of, I'm assuming this is kind of like your um, iron armor. If I game mode S it once again. Yeah, it's kind of weak. It's uh, I think it's just as good as, the, as iron. But uh, yeah, now you've got kind of like purplish armor. And kind of pinky. Kind of like... It looks kind of like leather, to be quite honest, but meh, better than leather. But yeah, this stuff you can find in Otherworld, I believe. Um, I don't know if it's actually in there yet, but um, yeah, there you go. Let me uh, take this crap off so I can actually show off my beautiful face. Okay, but as well, we actually have a couple new abilities that um, Kami can teach you now. Um, so Kami here has more of a purpose. Um... We could go down here to learn skill. There is now meditation and key sets. 
Meditation is the new charging system, which um, you're going to need in order to charge very well. If you don't have it, you're going to charge extremely, extremely bad. Now, the weird thing about this, I'm going to charge up to, I'm going to charge up to Super Saiyan 3 just to uh, show you guys how this works. Um, it kind of just works like I'm charging normally. I'm charging normally. It's a little weird because um, the way that the mod works is that you have to actually go into the configs to fix it if you wanted the uh, original key charging. You have to go into the configs and fix it to an active an active slot besides a passive slot because this mo this uh, this um meditation acts as a as a passive ability so you don't charge and your charge means absolutely nothing like you can charge all the way up and freaking scream as much as you possibly can but nothing is going to actually happen so uh, you have to go into configs and fix that so if you have like a server or something like that you're going to have to do that um if you want the original system as well now there is a new ability, which is Key Sense. That if I press F4, Key, key Sense currently is off right now. Uh, default, which uh, you guys do not see anything right now. But if I go towards, if I go to, um, if I go to, let's set it to night. Let's set it to night and let's set it to easy. To have um, the Zamzam spawn. He's kind of after me right now. The default right now doesn't really show off any of this stuff. Um, but if you go over to only players, obviously nothing. Go to only mobs, nothing. Show all. See? This guy's got a little bar over his head now. So you can kind of tell where he is. Um, I'm going to switch it back to uh, game mode C so I can get uh, some more zombie eggs for you guys. I'm going to chuck a bunch more down here. See, as you can see, they have bars now. It's weird. It's really, really weird. You can see it through the walls too, so this is your quote-unquote key sense you could sense where people are um you could sense where other players are you could sense where um other mobs are so if i did a dbc spawn raditz raditz is now here with his own bar now if i wanted to go to the default he kind of is not under default he's not under here if you wanted to see any of the mobs you have to go and actually select show all which what you do is you press f4 to do that Unfortunately, um, as you could probably tell, that Flan is currently not here. I had to take custom NPCs off because it made my game lag like crazy. Um, this bar apparently doesn't like when you set a mob to 1 billion hit, um, hit points. So, <laughs> don't do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, thank you, Raditz, for being absolutely amazing. Look at that. It's even got a bar and everything. Uh, look at that. Thank you, 240. That's actually kind of cool. Um, excuse me, Goku. So yeah, if you don't want this uh, way, you could just do that. Now, as well, we actually have a brand new transformation for you guys today. There's a brand new transformation so that you guys could go check out. Only Saiyans could do this. And people have wanted this for quite some time. So, what you do, you go to, um, usually if you want this to work, time set night. What that does, spawns in a full moon now you dbc fans out there you know what happens when there's a full moon right yeah exactly as you thought you turn into a freaking great ape <laughs> you turn into a great ape people have wanted this great ape form for god knows how long you finally have a great ape form and you do a little bit more so um like right now i'm do you would do 216 and if you look straight back up go into grade 8 form 216 i'm now doing 258 and it is not taking away any of my key right now but there's a little bit of an added bonus that Jin added to the mod which is freaking freaking awesome what's this am i transforming once again indeed i am now a golden ape freaking awesome i surpassed super saiyan 3 and now i'm just a giant a ginormous ape which by the way you cannot uh i cannot move and charge at the same time so that's a little add bonus um i'm doing 323 compared to what i was doing before so it, it actually gives you a bonus you are giant and um am i flying right now i am a flying great ape and i look absolutely crazy um but yeah if you wanted to get out of this form, 
You just press H, bam, you are back to normal, like nothing ever happened, and you could go Super Sandwich and all that stuff. Actually, curiosity, if I do this in Super Saiyan. All right, little thing. If you're Super Sandwich, you cannot go ape. But if you're out, you will turn ape. So there you go. You guys finally have a great ape form in Dragon Block C. You guys have been asking for it for God knows how long. I've wanted it for God knows how long. So congratulations. We now have a freaking great ape form. I am now happy. Also, you can have a sword, and then the sword is absolutely ginormous, and it's really cool. But anyways, <laughs> actually, that does not end the mod right there. There is actually a couple more things that Jin has made to get it so that um, you don't have to go around just beat up random mobs in order to get TP. Now... There is a new thing, if I press V here, there is a new thing next to key techniques, and that is called training. There are two things right now. There's a Shadow Dummy and Concentration. Shadow Dummy is a clone of the player that is as strong as the spawner, but only the owner can actually use it. Training with this dummy will result in increasing TP gain. So, if I had this dummy right now, this dummy is going to be uh, ridiculously powerful because I'm all hundreds right now. Um... As you can see, I have a lot of TP right now. 266, that's what we're looking at right now. 266. Uh, write that down, everybody. 266. So if we go here, say hi to our shadow dummy, which he's actually... Pre right now, he's not tackling me because I am actually in uh, game mode C. So obviously, you cannot... Uh, he can't attack me. 266. It's still at 266 right now. Unfortunately, I did not go up at all. But if I go game mode... If I... If I game mode S this, will the dude actually go after me? He most certainly will go after me. And he's just as powerful as me. So, um, I accidentally killed him. Whoa, he actually does the warps too. Okay, there you go. Eh, 266 now went up to 270. So, really doesn't give you too, too much experience. But it's kind of nice just in case, like, uh, you want a little test and uh will test of your strength and actually fight someone that is just as powerful as you because that guy will wreck your face if you're not careful enough also i'm really not liking the fact that there's mobs everywhere get the frick out of here um much much better now my phone just vibrated with a crap phone um there's actually another one right now which is on concentration which concentration is a mini game within uh with in-game daily limit of tp reward so basically this is a little mini game for you guys if you just don't want to go around just beating the crap out of people there's a little mini game that you guys can play now um as you can see here is uh, a little mini game now there are a bunch of different dots what the heck do you do there's on the website you can check this out for yourself but i'll tell you guys what to do click the blue balls to gather score so as you can see i'm gathering score right now Red balls will take away your score, uh, which is bad. Black balls will take away um, score and a life. So as you can see, it went down. Now, um, Gabe, uh, I'm looking at the different stuff. The faster you click, the more combo you can get. So I can go like boom, 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 and all of a sudden I'm getting, I'm getting a combo if I can do this fast enough. I'm actually really bad. Before I was actually doing like really good, I actually had a combo. But uh, as you can see, it's a little more. I think I think it's because I took too long explaining it. But a combo does show up, and um, you're able to get more points. It seems like right now I can actually claim TP, which actually right now the claim TP right now is one. I think you could set it in the config files to actually have more if you wanted to. But it's just a little fun mini game. So try to not hit all the dots. And if you do, you are um, bones and you lose all your points. So if I was actual, if I was fun, fine with um, the TP that I gathered, I just go claim TP. And as you can see from the bottom here, reward from minigame to TP. So I got two more. Huzzah! Freaking, freaking awesome. So there's little stuffs now. And it's awesome! There's actually also a, um, a couple new items as well. One thing that I really, really liked in here is uh, there's Cybermen seeds. And if you really wanted to, you could spawn Cybermen. Tons and tons of Cybermen. Which, by the way, they're all down here right now. So here we go. There are Cybermen here. I have just punched the crap out of a bunch of Cybermen. They drop seeds. They have a chance of dropping Cybermen seeds. 
Now these Cybermen, um, question, will they go after me? The answer is, heck yes, they'll go after me. Even if I plant them. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, you actually, you guys actually fall. So uh, you gotta watch out uh, that there's not a, um, you gotta watch out for where you actually place these guys. So there we go, he is here. He's actually not attacking me. He's trying to. Could you not, sir? He's trying to. But the thing is, if I if I'm kind of curious, DBC spawn Raditz. If I had Raditz here, Raditz is here now. And if I punch, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm way too powerful for that. <laughs> um, if I punch Raditz. Okay, these Cybermen are not going after. I thought I thought Raditz would uh. Oh, I thought the Cybermen would help me out here, but the Cybermen are not. They're just pathetic, just like all Cybermen are. So if you want to just have a little mini game playing around with Cybermen, or if you're fed up that the Cybermen aren't spawning, just plop a seed. And there you go. Cybermen are now spawning for you. And on that note, I think uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to everything in, um... Besides, like, uh, other stuff, like when you die, there's now a reincarnate system that you can reincarnate alternate. Um, you can reincarnate to start new. You can have uh, a separate inventory from Otherworld. So, so Otherworld, you have one inventory. Um, in the other, in actual world, like if I kill, I wonder if I... Oh, crap. I don't know, actually. I don't know if I've actually been in Otherworld in this, in this um, game. But yeah, you actually have like a different revive timer. You have a bunch of uh, reincarnate timers and all that stuff. Nothing really um, too, too much with that. And then I, uh, like, see, I can re reincarnate. It's because sadly you died, but don't worry, you're uh, with your alignment, you'll be able to go to heaven for sure. You could stay in other world or you're stuck. You are stuck in here oh see you're stuck in here reincarnate means you will lose everything you have um learned and only um a specific amount of attributes if this is what you want confirmed so you can go back to you can actually go back to the um the real world but you will lose everything so you have to wait this long until you come back now i'm pretty sure you can actually turn it off if you really really wanted to but that's a little cool system um can i actually I just went ape here because it's actually nighttime still in the real world. There you go. I can still go ape. <laughs> I am a giant ape now. But yeah, on that note, I'm going to say thank you guys for joining me once again. Let me know if you guys actually like the new additions. Um, there, obviously, Jin is still working on stuff. And there is a lot more stuff that uh, you guys can uh, check out. Um, and But uh, as well, because of the fact that a lot of the stuff has to do with the configs, let me know down in the comments below if you want a tutorial as to fixing the configs to make sure your game runs the way that you want it to. So, because I've done one in the past, but because there's a bunch of new stuff in the configs, I can do another one for you guys. It's all up to you. Let me know down in the comments below. But on that note, I am going to say thank you guys for joining me once again. And I will be seeing you later.